Hello, everyone. Welcome to the training sessions. Pass with octopus in three minutes. In this session, we will talk about understand the logics of octopus workflow. So, after going through the basic and intermediate lessons, you should have grabbed the basics of octopus, and we hope you manage to create a few tasks successfully on your own. And in this webinar, Ina and I will go into a little more depth. As I walk through how Octopus works to extract data from any web pages, and more importantly, how all the various actions work together in a workflow. Um, having a good understanding of these basic work principles really builds the um, backbone for creating more successful and complex scraping tasks. But of course, sometimes you would encounter some trouble while creating your own crawler. So in the in the second part, Ina will explain how you're gonna work with the workflow to troubleshoot a task. So how does Octopus works to extract web data? Octopus works by simulating real human browsing behaviors, actions like opening web pages, click on anything, any element on the pages, clicking on the next page button or scrolling down the pages can all be done in Octopus. And the simulated scraping process is identical to how you'd access to any web data in any everyday browsers. And the whole extraction process is defined automatically in a workflow with each individual action representing a particular interaction with the target web page. And when you are building a scraping task in Octopus, you are essentially creating a scraping workflow that can be translated into a series of instructions for Octopus to follow through. This workflow, however, is created automatically by Octopus while you are interacting with the building browser and the tips panel. So in some cases, you may not need to modify the auto-created workflow, yet in other cases, you may need to build or troubleshoot the workflow manually if things are not working as expected. And in either cases, it is strongly recommended that you grasp the basis of the workflow so you can scrape more precisely and accurately a workflow consists of a list of actions that are put together in a specific order for scraping the target web page. And the steps of the workflow should always be read from the top to the bottom and from inside to outside for nested actions. And let's take a look at this very classic example on the right hand side. So the first thing Octopus will do to follow this particular workflow is to go to web page, meaning to open the target web page. And then the loop item action will instruct Octopus to locate a list of element on the page. So the extract data action will start to extract data from this list of elements. After Octopus extracted everything from this list on the first page, it will then follow the instruction to click to paginate, meaning to click on the next page button. And then within this nest, start to extract data on the second page and so on. Click the next page until the workflow gets to the last page. So there is no more next page button and then the workflow will end. And remember, you can always test from the task to check the progress window, which is very helpful, very important step to do troubleshooting. And let's welcome Yina to elaborate on it now. 